We present Refraction, a new puzzle game that allows elementary school students to experiment with and learn about fractions. The goal of this game is to present fractions in a fun environment that students will naturally gravitate towards. The game mechanics are not obviously a lesson in fractions, but require knowledge of fractions to succeed. We have developed this game in cooperation with experts in game design, learning, early math education, and virtual manipulatives. In Refraction, the player must provide help to animals whose spaceships have lost power and gotten stuck in space. The player can help them by redirecting lasers. Each spaceship requires exactly the right amount of power, which is a fraction of the whole laser. This fraction is indicated by the red number on the spaceship. In order to redirect the laser to the target, we need to use a yellow bender to bend the laser. The laser is now reaching the spaceship. However, this spaceship wants only one half of the laser, and we are supplying it with a whole laser. We can split the laser using either the two splitter or the three splitter. Lasers are colored based on their denominator. If we use the three splitter, the laser pieces will all be colored blue because their denominator is three. If we try to power the spaceship with this piece, the spaceship will only get one third, which is too low. If we use the two splitter, on the other hand, the amount is correct. When all of the spaceships have been satisfied, the player will complete the level and receive a victory animation that shows the size of the laser at each point in the level. We give animal cards as a reward, which have been very popular among children who have played the game. These cards will be used in another, separate card game. Since fractions of the laser are manipulatable objects within the game, the player naturally learns the multiplicative relationships between the quantities. Satisfying the spaceships with the correct amount of the laser requires the player to plan ahead and think about how to divide the laser. The player can combine splitters to produce even smaller fractions. Since dividing a laser by a whole number is the same as multiplying by a fraction, Early levels of the game implicitly teach simple fraction multiplication. We give the users a magnifying glass to help them understand more about the fractional quantities of the lasers. When the user clicks on the laser, it will bring up an expanded view allowing the player to see the relationship between the width of a particular laser fraction and a whole laser. This helps reinforce the continuous model of partitioning lasers that underlies the game. Lasers are also animated with moving particles that become less frequent as the laser fraction gets smaller. This provides an additional model of fractions, which in this case is discrete. In this level, the spaceship wants two-thirds of the laser. Thus, in order to power the spaceship, the user must split a whole laser into three equal parts and recombine them on the target. By doing so, the player can begin to understand proper fractions with numerators greater than one. Players can also add lasers using these combiner pieces that will add together the lasers that are directed into them. However, lasers cannot be combined with a combiner unless their colors match. Since colors are determined by fraction denominators, this forces the player to think about splicing lasers into the right partitions in order to combine them, and also allows us to teach the player how to find common denominators. In this level, in order to give the spaceship five-sixths of the laser, the player must use expansion pieces to convert the fractions. The expansion piece with two tubes multiplies the fraction by two over two, and the piece with three tubes multiplies the fraction by three over three. To solve the level, the player must convert one-half to three-sixths and one-third to two-sixths before adding them to create five-sixths. This level is an example of how our game can teach how to add proper fractions to produce a result greater than one whole. This level can be completed two ways. In one, the user creates two-thirds and one-half and then adds them to create seven-sixths, as shown. In the other, however, the user just adds one to one-sixth to produce the same result. While the game allows players to experiment and discover both solutions on their own, by varying the pieces we can force the player to discover both solutions. We can extend this upwards to teach more complicated mixed numbers and improper fractions. In this level, the player can discover that five halves is the same as two complete holes in one half. Refraction records everything the player does so that it can be played back later. This data can be used both to refine the game and to evaluate whether a child has learned the relevant fractions material. Eventually, we hope to be able to use this data to tailor the game to each student specifically, and this is an area of future work. We also plan to use this data to evaluate the effectiveness of various proposed approaches to teaching fractions, and allow the game to be used as a testbed for educational researchers to test new theories. The game mechanics behind Refraction can be scaled to create very complex levels such as this one. If children master basic concepts and are willing to go further and undertake greater challenges, the game can increase difficulty to accommodate them. We can also randomly generate some levels to increase variety and replayability.